Hello everyone. This is gonna be part two of the same video of indicating a drill. Uh, my phone ran out of memory, our storage memory, so it cut off yeah, half the video. So where the previous video left off is where I was saying that the indicator is set at the 15 mark, so right now the indicator is not touching. And as I use my adjuster knob, as I move it into the drill, you guys can see how that needle starts to move. So I'm gonna place the needle close to zero and move the spindle back and forward until I can find a zero point. What I'm doing is I'm trying to find the high spot on the flute of that drill. So I go up to the top, I go up to the top of the flute and if I go past it, then the needle drops. I go up, finding the high spot, and if I keep going forward to the web of the drill, the needle drops. So now I'm gonna check the back side. Uh, you guys can use this type of mirrors. They're designed to look behind um, the indicators when you don't have access. And you do the same motion. You move the spindle back and forward until you find the high spot on that drill. So, if you, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but right now it's showing right here that from zero, where we zeroed out, we are one, two, three and a half thousandths off. So I'm gonna come back half of that tolerance so if I'm three and a half off, I'm gonna come back about a thousand and seven tenths. So you guys know how to go to jog, select your tenths increments, go to your x-axis, and let's get a view here of the indicator uh, reflected on the mirror. So I'm gonna come back about a thousand and a half. I mean a thousand and seven tenths. So about, maybe about right there. And it's gonna take a couple of tries to get it dead on. You know, you just wanna to try to get it close first. So there's a thousand seven tenths. I'm gonna zero it out. So now when I move my indicator going downwards with the coding flute, that's what's that's what that's gonna be your reading. So there it is. You don't wanna come up onto it because it's going to give you a false reading. See right now it's saying that I'm, I'm you know, negative one, you know, one thousandths. You're always going to come with the drill, you know, follow the contour of the drill. And when you do that, it'll give you a true reading. So there's my high spot right there. Zero that out. And then come to this side and see where you're at. So uh, let, let's see if we can get a closer view of that dial. So when I come up with it, following the contour of the drill, I got lucky on this one. I mean, I moved it just the perfect amount. So now it's zero here. And if I go back to the opposite side, I should read zero here as well. I'm maybe within about a tenth of an inch from center line. So now we read zero on both sides and you know sometimes you gotta keep going back and forth, back and forth, move it a couple of tenths, check your indicator, re-zero it out, move it a couple more tenths until you finally get that perfect readout of zero on one side and zero on the other side. Once you achieve that then the last thing that you need to do is use to enter that number. So you're gonna go to your offsets page on the x-axis and you don't want to press F2 because F2 was obviously three thousands off. So what you're going to do, you're going to record this number right here. That's your position. See, that's your work number. So this number needs to become that number. And you guys remember how to do that. You're just going to use the F1 key. So we're going to type in this number first. So we got minus 11 inches point 5948. So let's verify it. Minus 11 inches, 0.5948. So these two numbers match. 
right here. And now we're gonna tell it F1 to put this number over there. So there we go. So now we have this number right here matching that number over there, which is the position where that drill is located right now. And that's how you indicate a drill on the x-axis uh, on a CNC lathe. Thanks for watching you guys.